share a little bit. I mean, I know, I know this, but uh, you you through hiked it. You know, you know that there's a, a large section here of the Mid State Trail, section five and six, right by my house. Um, I'm on it all the time. But share a little bit about the terrain of the MST, because uh, I think so. A lot, there, yeah, again, like you said, a whole lot of people. Don't, there's a lot of people that don't know about this trail as, as compared to other long distance trails in PA. But um, just share the what kind of terrain did you encounter throughout your entire trip? Well, so it's it's interesting because you know a lot of people are familiar with like the Appalachian Trail in Pennsylvania, and you know, like oh Pennsylvania is really rocky, and I mean there are definitely very rocky sections of this trail. But um, well, first of all, I have to say, like, all the other trails in Pennsylvania are better than the Appalachian Trail, <clears throat> in my experience, in Pennsylvania. Uh, but the Mid-State Trail, so if you look at Pennsylvania, you know, the mountain ranges here in, in, in on the East Coast, they say, are, are much, much older than, like, the Rocky Mountains out west. And so, you know, the mountains have kind of worn down. They've eroded over the years. And, you know, all the nutrients from, like, the rock and everything have settled down to the valleys, which is why we have, you know, such rich farming here in Pennsylvania. But what you have left are kind of just you know, mountains have very little dirt on them. And so they are pretty, pretty rocky, but the mountain ranges that you wind up hiking in and through run, you know, north and south through the middle of the state. But as they start coming up to like the, the central, you know, the center County state college area, they start curving off to the east. So they're, they're basically coming straight north through the middle of the state and they start curving off to the east up around the center part of the state. So when you do the hike, you're you're hiking along the these ridge these ridges in the southern part of the state and then when you start getting the state college um woolrich regions you're you're now hopping over the mountain so it's a lot of up and downs and then when you get into kind of the northern tier things things tend to level out a little bit more mm -hmm. so you go from like you know rocky ridges to kind of fertile valleys um throughout the entire hike mm -hmm. um and like I said, I was doing it in April, so the weather was changing too. So, you know, I, I had lows in like the mid 30s. And then I think once or twice, I may have had highs in the like low 70s. Mm -hmm. um, so the weather was kind of always changing and, and so is the terrain. But I mean, you're, you're walking through it. You're, you're, you're in it, but you're walking through it as well. And it was kind of interesting to see like you know, how much it changes, but also how much it stays the same as well. Yeah.